Hello and welcome to the 19th installment of Liverpool vs. Everybody. Uh, this is the 19th, no matter what I said last video. I think I got that wrong. Um, been a little break for us. Um, happy to be back with an installment. Um, we're going to just go right into it. This is going to be, the next couple of videos will probably be about transfers and who we who we want to keep, who we would like to see, who we'd like to see um, leave the club, uh, things of that nature. So, um, I'm going to jump right in. I think we all know the new keeper we got from uh, Mainz, Loris Carrillas. Carrillas, I'm not really sure how to say his name, um, but it sounds familiar, uh, or it sounds close to the word curious. As in, listen, I'm, I'm sure Klopp has some history with the guy, uh, been monitoring him, whatever. But I'm curious as, you know, the whole youth, this whole youth thing, I think it's great. Um, I really do, especially for the long term, developing guys. And um, I mean, in general, in athletics, it's, it's, it's just definitely nothing wrong with having youthful talent, youthful players in, in any sport. That's always going to be a, a benefit uh, to your club. Uh, at the same time, I feel like we need more people with experience um, um, in Europe, in competition for the country and club, whatever it may be. So um, I don't know why Mignolet is still at Liverpool. Um, if you're bringing in this guy to, to, to definitely be the starter, that's fine. Um, I, I feel like having Mignolet on the bench, to me, um, is almost like having Bogdan on the bench. Now, mo a lot of you would say that's oh, a crazy comparison. I mean, he's better. Yeah, he's better, but at the same time, he, he still has that I don't know factor. You know, um, Bogdan maybe has a little more, but my point is, if, if we're thinking the mice keepers coming in and going to be a better an upgrade to Mignolet, then it's like. Bogdan being coming off the bench. You know, sure what you're gonna get from him besides mistakes, blunders, uh, poor decision making, you know. And Simon Mignolet is definitely prone to have some really, really good outings. And I've, I've mentioned that. And it's been something that has been documented um, through fans in general. He has some good games. Um, but, I mean, that leads me to just thinking, why don't we just bring in um, Mandanda from um, Marseille? Steve Mandanda, uh, Cameroonian. Uh, think could be could be wrong on that but uh older guy experience um has you know played a bunch of games got a lot of experience with um you know club and country um pretty short set of hands um you know has a history of being a great keeper um very nice uh, height on him uh, looks like he'll be taking over for uh hugo Lloris and the uh, euros i think uh, Lloris might be hurt but bringing a guy like that in, I think, is it makes more sense, along with or instead of, to be honest. Um, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what this young guy from Mainz is going to be able to do. Um, I don't think much people, many people know what he has to offer besides what you see on YouTube. So, um, looking forward to that, and you know, hopefully, it's a, it's a good signing for us. I think clearly Klopp is going defensively. You know, we got Matt Tip. Uh, which I think is going to be a, a huge upgrade. Um, his height and uh, physicality is going to be perfect and much needed. Um, the keeper um, and Nguji. So, uh, you know, I'm happy with those signings. Um, don't know much about anything. Matt Tip, I've seen play a few matches in Bundesliga. Um, and like I said, I like him. The other two guys are unknowns for me. So, um, you know, you got to trust Klopp's judgment. You know, we, we, we feel like he's he knows what he's doing. So, you know, we'll continue in that way. Um, there's a lot of free transfers um, out um, with the addition of the, the keeper from Marseille um, that I'm not sure why we haven't just jumped on. Uh, one of them being Faguli uh, from Valencia, who is is one of the, in my mind, bright players coming out of um, Algeria, playing in Europe, and playing really well. You know, you obviously got Mares with, with Leicester. Um, you got um, Slimani or in Portugal, I think Arsenal or Man U or someone's um, in, in position to get. And then you got uh, Yassine Brahimi, who for me came out of nowhere. I love him. I never thought in a million years we would be, he would even be on our radar. Um, and I don't know if it's a clock thing or what. 
but if if that's true, it, that would make my that would make my summer. I don't care who else we sign. If we get Yasin Brahimi, I, I'd be beyond happy. And I think he can slide right in, you know, for Lalana or whoever it has to be. I think he slides right in. Also, like Bentaleb plays with um, uh, Tottenham, who I don't know if he's been injured or just not been in the pecking order. But, um, yeah, Bentaleb I like a lot. And, you know, that, supposedly Tottenham came for Lalana. And, look, look, I think Lalana had a – a really good season under clock and I think he probably could flourish and and be consistent with that. But I'd take a I'd take a swap for Ben Taleb and Polana. I mean I think Ben Taleb is a is a really, really good young uh midfielder and I think he would do well with us. So you know, I mean I think there's a lot of players obviously coming out of Algeria that are doing really well and um if we can get Brahimi and Faguli that would be a great summer. I really believe that um, they know each other well. They play together. They they've done really well. At their respective clubs. Uh, Faguli for some reason has fallen out at Valencia. Not really sure why. Um, apparently some disciplinary action. I don't know. But uh, I think you go for him. Uh, there's also fullback uh, Gregory Vanderbilt uh, at uh, PSG. Uh, young guy, um, really gifted uh, fullback. A guy I think that can come in and start for us right away, or at least give Moreno and Klein some competition. Um, and then Ben Arthur is a, a really interesting one. I know he hasn't done, he hasn't done well, mainly uh, behavior-wise at, at clubs, but uh, and so we I guess we don't want another possible ballot. Oh, even though I think Balotelli was pretty pretty well behaved, if you will, at Liverpool um, with some minor situations, but. I don't know if we want that, but I, I don't know. I just feel like Klopp is one of those guys that, you know, can nurture a guy. Like, and Ben Arthur's not really so young anymore. I mean, he's not old either, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel like Klopp could, could work with that and, and maybe something special can come from it. So, um, you know, we've we've noticed with teams like Leicester and even Swansea to a degree um, uh, in, in West Ham, able to get guys – you know, that you haven't heard of, you know, and, and then just come in and, and light the league up. You know, uh, Payet at West Ham, I mean, what, where did he come from? I, I, I mean, I know he came from Marseille, I know he's a French footballer, but I, I never heard of this guy ever. Um, Conte, incredible. Um, you know, Ayu, who's one of my favorite players, I, 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 I knew him, and I, I hope he can come to, to Liverpool. That's another guy who was on my list. I'll do a, a list of guys who I kind of would prefer come. Make a, maybe like a, a separate video of that. But I'll be adding that in videos like this as well. But yeah, I use on my list. Um, but yeah, that, you know, so getting guys that we don't know, or I, or I should speak for myself, guys who I haven't seen besides a YouTube clip, I don't mind that. Um, I just, I want a better mix of maybe youth and experience. Um, you know, they have a guy, uh, what's his name? Dahoud from Gladbach, uh, Borussia Gladbach. Um, I've seen some clips on him, but he, he reminds me of another uh, Joe Allen as far as like his stature. He's not going to do well with winning aerial du duels, which is not necessarily the biggest thing, but it is something. Premier League is a, it's a big boys league, and you know we can't have guys getting pumped in the middle in the middle of the park. I mean, I think Joe Allen did well. He he had his moments for sure, uh, and, I, and I like the guy to be honest. But, uh, you know, the, a guy that hide in the midfield or anywhere in the park, really. Uh, I mean, unless he's a winger, maybe. But in the middle of the park, we need some, we need some, some, some strength. Um, and that's why I feel like, you know, Emery, of course, Ben Taleb, you know, guys like that come in. Even on Alex Song, who's, who's uh, you know, one of my top five players. I love Alex Song. Even him in the midfield, you know, I think are upgrades over, you know, Lucas Lever or whoever else we may have that can play kind of that defensive mid with or, you know, under or whatever, whatever with uh, Emery Chan. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get to um, some, those are kind of my European kind of ideas of players that we could grab. Um, you know, Conte's apparently not, Feeling this this new um, 
deal with Leicester, uh, and he's ready to get up out of there. And I think Arsenal are going to grab him. Um, you know, I just wish we can go for. I know Champions League is a different pool, and you'll get a different, you know, class of players coming in, um, which clearly is why that that defeat in the Europa League was was tough. But you know, I I think guys like uh, what's his name, um, the Polish Zelensky, let him go. You know, there's too much of this. You know, the other day he was wearing a Liverpool jersey, taking pictures, and saying how he loved to play with Coutinho. For some reason, on their end, I feel like there's some kind of stop. There's some there's some hold up. Let it go. Like Mario Götze, I'm honestly, I mean this. I'm glad we're not getting him. Same thing. Too much. I don't know. Klopp's got to reach out to me. You know, if you want to stay in the Bundesliga, stay. Whether you're gonna play or not, I don't know. I don't care. You know, good riddance to you. We don't need guys who don't want to come there. Klopp has already said that. I'm a firm uh, supporter of that. If the Polish guy doesn't want to come. Let him stay wherever he wants to go or go to Roma. I think Roma's allegedly been, been up there to, to grab him. So whatever. You know, guys like that, I'd rather it just be like, all right, on to the next target. Um, so, I mean, all these rumors are just rumors. We don't know anything. Nothing's set in stone. Um, but there are definitely some guys in these rumors that I'm, I'm more keen on us bringing and other guys who it's like, ah, if we get him, okay, but I'm not too thrilled about it. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, Leave comments if you like, like it if you like, don't like it, whatever the case may be. We'll be back, I don't know, tomorrow, a couple, probably tomorrow, uh, to talk about Premier League teams and players, or Premier League players that uh, we would like to have if possible, and then guys in our squad that we'd like to see. So uh, tomorrow I could possibly have honest with me or not, but uh, we will be here either way. So until then, ta-da.